Okay, physical properties of alcohol. Eh? Physical properties of alcohol. The first things that you need to know is the boiling point. Eh? Boiling points. Okay, now this this are alkanes. Eh? Methane, ethane, propanes, butanes. Okay. Uh, the boiling point eh? of alkane. And these are the boiling points of alcohol. Okay, alcohol. Eh? So from here, uh, there are two things that you need to know. Uh, first, uh, we can see that when the number of carbons increases, okay, one, two, three, four carbons, uh, okay, then the boiling point increase. Okay, so the boiling point increase when the number of carbons increase. That's the first thing that you need to know. When compare uh, to this alkane, uh, then we can see that the boiling point of alcohol are much much higher than the boiling points of alkane okay from this one uh, we can see the alkane is about 100 something okay but for alk uh this methane uh, methane is the boiling points 100 maybe 110 uh, uh but for methanol uh, is about uh, 340 degrees celsius okay now you need to know that alkane and alcohol uh, alkane and alcohol uh the structure is uh, about the same and the size of the molecule is also about the same, okay? So suppose uh, uh, the boiling point also must be about the same, like alkene and alkene, yeah? the boiling points is uh, about the same, okay? But from here, we can see that they are not really the same. The boiling points of alcohol are much, much higher than the boiling points of alkene, yeah? okay? We are going to explain that later, okay? So um, from here, there are two conclusions uh, that we can draw from this uh, graph. First is uh, when the number of carbons increases. First, uh, when the number of carbons increases, number of carbons per molecule. Eh? The boiling points of alcohol increases. So that's the first conclusions. And second, the boiling point uh, the boiling points of alcohol are much higher than the alkane. that have same number of carbons eh? okay so that are the two conclusions that we can draw from this graph first number of carbons increases the boiling point increases seconds when we compare to the boiling points of alkane eh? the boiling points of alcohol are much much higher the boiling points of an alcohol is always much higher than that of the alkane with the same number of carbons, atoms. Why? Okay, why? Yeah? Explanations. Uh, that is because the presence of the hydroxyl group gives extra force between the molecules. Eh? Okay, let me show you. OH. Eh? OH. Let's say methanol. Eh? Okay, so this is one methanol. Okay, this is one methanol. And then so let's say we have another methanol. Now, between the hydroxyl group, especially between the O and the H, okay, O and the H, there is a very strong intermolecular force. Okay. So between the OH group, there is a very strong intermolecular force. Okay. And this makes uh, the boiling point become very high. Okay. So the presence of the hydroxyl groups give extra force between the molecules. Eh? So more heat energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular force when boiling. Okay, so that is because the OH group. Eh? Okay. When you compare the size of the molecule, it's about the same. Number of electrons also about the same. Eh? Okay, so but this OH group is a very special structure. So, so it will produce a very strong intermolecular force between the molecule. The boiling points of alcohol increases as the number of carbon atoms increases. Why? Okay. 
Uh, this one, the explanation is about the same as uh, the explanations for the boiling points of alkane and alkene. Okay. Uh, that is because the number of carbons increases, the size of the molecule increases. Eh? When the size of the molecules increases, the intermolecular force between the molecule will increase. Okay, because the intermolecular force is the Van der Waal force, uh, which is depends on the size of the molecule eh? or the number of electrons in the molecule. Okay, so number of carbon increases, size of the molecule increases, and therefore the intermolecular force increases. And as a result, more heat energy is needed to overcome the intermolecular force. Okay, yeah? so this is the explanation. Now, make sure that you remember these two explanations eh? because uh, sometimes in exam they may ask you okay, uh, these two questions. Now, other than boiling point, eh? another uh, important physical property that you need to know is the solubilities of alcohol. The structures of an alcohol is about the same as alkane, right? Just now we have discussed that. All alkanes are insoluble in water. All alkenes are also insoluble in water. Okay? But alcohol, eh, some of the alcohols eh, are soluble in water. Okay? For example, eh, uh, methanol, ethanol, prop propanol, eh, they are soluble in water. So those small alcohols eh, are completely soluble in water. But the solubilities fall eh, as the length of the hydrocarbons chain in the alcohol increases. For example, this one, okay, this one uh, are insoluble, okay, but this one is soluble, okay. Uh, that is because they are the presence of the OH group, eh, okay, the presence of the OH group that causes it uh, soluble in water. Now, when you compare the this OH group with the structure of uh, this is a water molecule. Eh? Water molecule is HOH. -H. So this is a water molecule. Eh? So you can see that it also has this OH, right? Okay. So this OH, eh, the structure is similar to the structures in a, a, a water molecule. And uh, this hydroxyl, eh, this OH group, causes the alcohol become soluble. Okay. Uh, so this, this, uh, this OH group, eh, contributes to the solubilities of the alcohol. But these carbons, uh, these carbons and hydrogens are insoluble. Insoluble, okay? But uh, because the, when the molecule is very small, uh, so this OH, it play a very important role in the solubility and cause the molecules to be soluble, okay? But when the number of carbons in the main chain or the longest chain increases, and these hydrocarbons, uh, these hydrocarbons are insoluble. Uh, these hydroxyl groups are soluble. But because the hydrocarbon chain are so long, okay, compared to this hydroxyl group, okay, then um, it makes this alcohol become insoluble or sometimes partially soluble. Okay, this part makes it soluble, this part makes it insoluble, and this part is very long and therefore it causes these molecules to become insoluble. Uh, that is the solubilities of alcohol. Eh? Those uh, alcohol with small molecules are soluble, and those alcohol with big molecules are insoluble. Uh, that is because they are, they are the presence of this uh, long hydrocarbon chain in the uh, baked alcohol molecules. Explain why the solubilities of alcohol decreases as the number of carbons in the molecules of alcohol increases and explain. Okay, so these are the point. Yeah? Usually, uh, this will come up in essay questions. Huh? Okay, so when you come up in essay questions, uh, this, uh, so this is the answer that you should write. Huh? So every alcohol consists of two parts, the hydrocarbon chain, which is not soluble in water, and the hydroxyl functional group, which is soluble in water. So, uh, so every alcohol, there are two parts, huh? okay? uh, parts which are insoluble and the parts which are soluble in water. Okay? And in short chain alcohol or the small alcohol, eh, the hydroxyl group plays a major part in uh, forming forces. Okay, the force is called the hydrogen bond in between water and alcohol molecule, and therefore they are soluble in water. Okay, so the hydroxyl, eh, the hydroxyl group is the OH lah. Huh? This hydroxyl eh, is the OH group. It play a very important role in small alcohol. This is the OH. Okay, the small alcohol. Uh, when the hydrocarbons uh, chain become longer, 
So for the long chain alcohol, the hydroxyl group is just a small part of the molecule. And therefore, uh, the insoluble long hydrocarbon chain contribute more to the forces in between water and alcohol molecule and causes the solubilities of the alcohol to decrease. Okay, so these are the explanations and usually this will come out in a essay quite